population of over 140 million, Nigeria, one of the most populous black African countries, constitutes about 10% of the HIV and AIDS burden in the world. Out of this population, approximately 3.5 billion persons are living with HIV and AIDS, with a prevalence rate of about 4.4% of the adult population that is 15 to 45 years of age. The HIV depends on its ability to replicate quickly in the human body and cause a breakdown in the immune system, making it impossible to fight off other diseases that attack the body. Studies have shown that HIV treatment works best when the right dose of anti-HIV drugs is taken regularly at the right time. The antiretroviral drugs are drugs used in treating HIV. They work as a chemical barrier in the body, stopping HIV from infecting cells and making more virus. However, drugs don't stay in the body forever. They are gotten rid of the same way as other edibles we swallow through digestive system, the kidneys and the liver. Some drugs are gotten rid of very quickly, so they have to be taken more than once a day to keep enough in the body to stop HIV. If the drugs are not taken regularly, the HIV gets the chance to make more copies of itself. The new virus that is being produced is often a little different from the parent virus. These differences are called mutations and it can change the parts of the virus that the anti-HIV drugs are meant to stop. As a result, the drug will no longer work as it should and there might be the need to find a whole new anti-HIV drug combination to use. This is why adherence, taking your medications the right way and keeping clinic visits and appointments are very important for getting the best out of the available HIV drugs and services. In order to respond to this geometrical spread of HIV and AIDS and ensure that her citizens are well informed on the appropriate treatment and precautionary measures to be taken by people living with HIV and AIDS, the federal government of Nigeria commenced a treatment program that now gives HIV treatment free to people living with the virus. Aleo Ibrahim, a client at the treatment site at the University of Jones Teaching Hospital, Nigeria, talks about treatment adherence from his personal perspective. Before taking the ARB drugs, all I lose weight, all my face, just look at my face, or if you look at my self you tell you, you notice that I, I look lean. By that time my weight is 40, but today I'm proud to say I'm about 76 kilograms. Better off than before I got sick. The importance of adherence cannot be overemphasized. Adherence refers to how closely you follow a prescribed regimen. It includes the ability to understand and willingness to start treatment and take the medications exactly as instructed. Ensuring adherence to treatment is not always easy. HIV treatment regimens are complicated. Most regimens involve taking multiple pills each day. Some antiretroviral drugs must be taken on an empty stomach, while others must be taken with meals. This can be difficult for many people, especially for those with symptoms or side effects of the drugs. Other factors that can make it difficult to adhere to an HIV treatment regimen include experiencing unpleasant medication side effects such as nausea, sleeping through doses, traveling away from home, being too busy, feeling sick or depressed, forgetting to take medications. However, all drugs can also cause side effects, adding to the problem of taking them regularly. <laughs>